Hi guys, my name is Meats. This is going to be a review for Bandai's new line, the Chojigen Henki Frame Robo. I'm just gonna cut it the Frame Robo line. And the first one is Gaia Frame. And I think the other ones are kind of named after planets. Maybe some of them are a little different. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the Candy Toy uh, or those with Gashapon, like the Gundam Converge or the Soul Kingdom. But this is a little different. Although the price point is somewhat the same. Uh, we're looking at around 540 yen or roughly five to ten dollars. You know, considering shipping and everything. So uh, it, it is quite a big box. Here's my hand here. It's a flat box. Uh, very interesting. So in this one you have this kind of like a runner or the plate which I'm not sure if we're gonna detach certain things and most likely we are. Also you get that separated we can turn into a, the robot here. Uh, this is kind of like the Lego Bionicles or Lego in general where we're basically taking advantage of the contours of the plastic. There's really not much gonna be color on it but we'll see and also tells you here that you can swap out with other uh, figures of the same line yeah and it does say there it's 500 yen <laughs> alright uh, let's take a look inside here it's like a pizza box or a really thin one alright that's about it so inside we got this information here this is when you Looks like a survey. Yeah. Not sure what this. Eh, most likely a survey. We got the frame here. Ah, kind of interesting. They have that uh, silhouette on the instructions on the back here. Kind of see it. And there is a sticker sheet huh, with the uh, earth on it and some instructions. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go take a look inside and see how it's assembled. Alright, it's always fascinating to see what's inside. So basically, it is a giant runner where you can just snap every uh, piece, separate them. And uh, this is gonna be a little hard to distinguish since everything is in Japanese. They probably named this certain parts of the robot's body. But we can make out it out of the shapes. Uh, some of them are numbered, as you can see on top, but it's quite a bit here in terms of assembly. And here we go. So we are assembling each part. Very interesting. Hmm. Alright, so why don't we get at it? <laughs> Alright, uh... I basically laid it out as if um, on a tray and separate each pieces out and I started adding stickers. Something I'm not too fond of but it's not too bad. I added the first one here then I'm gonna do one here which I'm just gonna align it and yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard, hard to uh, put stickers sometimes just getting it right. There we go. Maybe it's good to start on the corners. But once you do that, you're not aligned with the other part of this. Huh. They do have uh, cuts in them, as you can see, which allows you to contour, especially when you're putting stickers on something that is curved like this. It doesn't always work the way you want it to. But you just gotta try your best. Probably helps to have a either a cotton swab or a toothpick. But I think we're doing good. So I managed to put that on. Make sure that everything just sticks. There we go. And that's really good on that side right there. <laughs> There's like gaps here and there actually I think I should have uh, went here a little bit more <laughs> this side is a little bit more pushed there I may have to re uh, redo that but not so bad 
they're so fun. It's kind of flexible in certain aspect, but that's probably when we start putting things together. There are knobs, and you might want to use just your your side cutter. I'm using a Tamiya here just to clean it off. All right, I kind of just want to show this uh, one part of you know folding things. Just kind of show how it is. So I kind of tried it. I uh, unfolded it again, and that actually kind of works uh, quite well. So the first part on this one is probably the main body. You make the the core pretty much looks like the earth right there. Then uh, you wrap this around. Kind of go over here. This seems to be uh, the waist. Then this seems to be the shoulder joint. There we go. Then you just kind of close this in. You got two pegs on each. And there we go. You got the body. It's actually not too bad. Kind of like how they, uh, they've done that. And it's actually in the structure, it's not too bad. Uh, you just kind of follow um, how it is. <laughs> just uh, looking at the shape. All right, we got Gaia here. And I really like how it kind of goes along with Bionicle. The shadow it created from all that uh, molding kind of gives it a, a bit more depth. Although it's you know, quite simple. <laughs> yep. Really nice. Uh, there's quite a bit of stickers as you can see on the side here. Although the molding underneath does kind of help uh, create a little bit as you can see. It's actually not too bad the way they added the stickers also some on the side here yeah I like it <laughs> all right uh, in terms of articulation you have the neck here it's in a pull joint and uh, these are detachable you can always uh, take them out and swap it with other well in the future here we go then you got this uh, wings here, which is just a straight peg, kind of on the back there. Uh, there's this piece here which you can move. You got this whole shoulder here. And every time you make those fold, you're gonna have a uh, plastic, uh, uh, what we call it, stretch uh, marks. That's not really a big thing uh, for me. I mean. Technically, I could just uh, trim that off and uh, glue the piece together since I'm not going to be... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's really no point of uh, disassembling it. I mean, certain parts you might need to, but this one you don't. So you can actually just remove that uh, piece right there, but yeah, for now, we'll keep it like that. Uh, you have these blades here, which uh, can be... Well, it's a straight peg on the side here. And there's actually some, some of them have the different ports. Well, not for this particular small one. <laughs> and uh, there's a little peg there which connects here. And kind of emulates him holding it. There is a peg uh, for the hand. Yep. Actually, it's uh, well, it's another gimmick later on. We'll, we'll explore that. So you get one here and another here. Yep. So... I wonder if you can even connect it on here too. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. And you have this elbow joint. And you get this uh, plastic here that's connecting the forearm and upper arm. Yep. You can actually... Uh, well, the way it was assembled, it was like this. So you're just going to be connecting the elbow joint. That's really nice. Put that back here. Uh, waist, uh, there is no articulation of waist. You cannot rotate that hip. Then you get this piece here on the leg. I'll just put, put it down for now. Even this one. Uh, you do have hips. Well, let's see here. You can only uh, open this wide. Yep. Eh, not too bad. Then you have the knee, same as the elbow. 
you can bend it same thing with the ankle here it is limited uh, to a certain extent but you have that articulation so it's not too bad and uh, this uh, flaps here actually kind of work kind of like the belt yeah kind of works <laughs> Alright, so other than that, there is a gimmick which allows or to take parts of the Gaia and turn it into a weapon. Uh, to do so, uh, we're gonna take out the, these parts here. And basically, oh, let me show you then. There we go. So you need the wings, you need the, this part here, the leg, and the shoulder. We're gonna be doing a little bit of disassembling. Take this apart. This one too. Remove the knee joint here. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna take this out. I'm trying to remember. So basically, this is gonna be the handle here. And uh, let's see. We're gonna take this out also. Oh, there we go it's coming together so this connects here then uh, we have this arm here which it's gonna be like this I think no it's something else Have checked it. I just refreshed my memory. <laughs> I was re actually recording this part the day after. Alright, so after you put the feet here, you're gonna be connecting this uh, waist joint to this peg right here. There we go. And I kept thinking we're gonna be using the arm. You actually don't use the arm, you just use the shoulder. Same way, the shoulder joint, you're gonna be connecting on that part right there. And you just gotta align it. And I push this down. And just align this um, axe part, and there you go. This is quite nice. It's a cool, nifty gimmick. And uh, you have the handle here. I've tried it, it does not work for if you're curious if it works with Robot Dama. She does not, it's like, a little too small, maybe for a Soul Kingdom, but I'm not really sure. It, it, it is a small peg. Yep. <laughs> so, here. So basically, if you have another one of the frame robos, uh, this will work uh, quite well. And yeah, it's a nice uh, nifty weapon. Quite big. And you can do the same thing on the other side. So yeah, you can do it with two axes. Yep. And there you have it. That's a review for Gaia. I wasn't expecting much at the price point of $5 to $10. It kind of reminds me of the Soul Kingdoms or the Gundam Converge. You know, something small. But uh, this is actually quite big, and there's a build aspect to it. And at first, I thought it was going to be complicated, but it's not. It's actually straightforward, as well as the sticker. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> and for size comparison, we have the Robot Damashi here, and as well as a Gundam Converge. As you can see, it's uh, substantially big. Not too bad. I really like this uh, line. Hopefully, it will continue some more. And I think they've released six so far. And I do have the other ones, or the first three. I'm gonna go ahead and continue reviewing this. But yeah, really nice. Uh, it's a nice figure to have and highly recommend getting it. I got mine from AmiHami. You could probably get it on other online stores or maybe ask your hobby store. It is made by Bandai after all. And yeah, hope you guys like this review. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.